last back on this video, guys. Number 11. I'm going to throw this one to Tyler, of course, first because let's go. It's it's the Lions here. I stole the Packers from Tim, but I got to stay true and go with the Lions for Tyler. We got Jameer Gibbs, the players now finally getting a lot of hype in camp. He's looking good with these cuts. Tyler, how do you feel about Jameer Gibbs? And is Dave Montgomery a factor here? Is it PPR versus standard, or are you just you all for Gibbs everywhere? I'm here for Gibbs everywhere. I mean, this is the range. Like RB11, RB10, it's pretty easy smash for me across the board. I think a lot of people are um, unfortunately like thinking of like, oh, he's going to take like the Swift role. The Swift wasn't much, but Swift was not part of this new regime at all. Like they didn't want him. Clearly they didn't want him. They traded him for a fifth round pick. Like that's basically what you need to know what they thought about Swift. And then like what you want to know what they thought about Gibbs is they took him in the, in the you know, the first half of the first was it pick 15, 18. I can't remember, but they took him in the first round, like way earlier than they should have. So to me, it's like, they, they want to use Gibbs like that kind of draft capital on a running back in the year of 2023. It's basically saying like, this is going to be a dude. And then you look at it and it's like right now, like backtracking a second, like the Detroit Lions offense is elite. Like I say that unbiasedly, like it is an elite offense, the way that they operate. And there's really nothing behind Amon Ross St. Brown. Like, Laporta, like I'm excited for him in the future. I'm not counting on anything. Jamison Williams wasn't counting on him anyways. Now he's suspended. There's nothing really there. It's like who who are they throwing the ball to? They're gonna be throwing a lot. They have a good offense. They, well, their offensive line's really good. Goff's proven to be a pretty solid quarterback. It's just they're gonna be throwing the ball a lot. You know, Amonra's gonna get his, but there's just so much open for Gibbs to explode in this offense. And it's just those are the kind of bets I want to take. Is like he's a first round DC running back. Like we absolutely love to see that. And, you know, he can be the, the, like the number two person on the lines in terms of targets. And we love targets. Targets are great for running backs. I think Montgomery is going to have a role, but I think outside of that, it, it, it like the, Mike, I like Montgomery. Like I'll take him. I think I've been RB 25, like right out, out of this range. But to me, it's just Gibbs offers a lot of upside to where like, we can see this guy go out there and catch, um, you know, 80, 90 balls. Um, and it wouldn't even be an issue. So I have, I have like, you know, 80 90 is probably a lot like 80 balls is definitely in the range of outcomes in terms of how many you can catch so this is a great spot for gibbs i've been taking gibbs pretty consistently in this like 10 11 range of rbs um you know i'll take him as early in one qb as like the third round i think this is the best shot to get two backs to finish in the top 24 as tower said that offense is absolutely nothing behind behind amazon brown I'm disappointed he he just fell out of this video where we have Dave Montgomery because I like him late too. But Jameer Gibbs has felt an auto pick. When we people start to get in the spot, they're like, this is the dead zone. Well, if you're gonna take a shot, even if you want to classify it in that shot in that range, if you're gonna take a shot, you take it on the rookie. You take it on a guy that was drafted 13th overall, right? Somebody asked me today, they said with DeAndre Swift, well. They liked him a lot coming in too. I said, no, but they took him in the second round. There's a difference, right? If, if Jameer Gibbs went kind of in the spot, Swift went, I'm going to put, put the pump, the brakes a little bit. We're going to see how they use him early. And then maybe I might get a little more excited, but with Jameer Gibbs going 13, I mean, we're not worried about Bijan, right? I mean, he's going to get used. Yeah. I mean, they, you, sh you shift DeAndre Swift out for literally nothing. And you draft a guy, a better version of him. You would say at pick 13. He's going to get used. I love it. Uh, it's a really good spot. Tim, any final shot uh, thoughts here before we we round this video out? DeAndre Swift, year two, um, 1,067 yards, uh, 78 targets, 62 catches, seven touchdowns. That's that's like simple for Gibbs, in my opinion. Besides the touchdowns, which I don't like to project touchdowns because they can be random, but the workload, that's less than Tyler uh, projected or just now, which it could be even better than that. But it's with it's well within the range of opportunities, and that wasn't even a good Lions team when Swift did that either. Yeah, I love it, guys.